Hey everybody, it's Ozzy Rodriguez with part 5 of the PSD to WordPress using Dynamic for Genesis tutorial series. Um, in the last uh, video and article, we uh, styled our content, comments, sidebars, and footer. Uh, in this one, we'll start uh, doing uh, what we become our homepage uh, using the easy uh, static homepage that Dynamic will let you do. Uh, this is what our website looks like right now. And we'll start making it look more like this. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, go to Genesis Dynamic Design and Widths and increase the wrap width. Um, in order to accommodate the um, widget, the three widget areas with the ribbon stylings on the header, um, it actually needs to be a little bit wider. So <clears throat> we'll make all of these numbers um, add up to 980. Um, so this one's going to be 640. And this one will be 640. Now if you notice all of these numbers, if you add each of the individual numbers up in a row, they don't add up to uh, the 980, but that's because um, dynamic um, takes the padding into account into your widths, uh, which makes it a little easier for you. So now we're going to start styling our home page. Uh, we're going to do our uh, static home page. And then what I like to do is look at the Photoshop file and just think about how I'm going to do it. So I know we have a slider. Um, uh, this will be a featured top area that Candelicious offers the finest baked treats. Um, this could be our featured top. And these are going to be three widget areas. Um, for the slider, um, you can use the slider that comes, um, the slider area that Dynamic um, will let allow you to do. Um, for the tutorial we're going to use a custom conditional and a widget area uh, which we'll probably get to in the next uh, video. Um, so we're going to style a featured top and three widget areas. Um, so so the static home page layout we're going to go with a home three which is three widget areas. Um, and then we'll start styling the heading fonts for the uh, home easy home widget heading fonts. We're going to bump them up to 22 and we'll grab the uh, the color from here. So we'll just do a copy and paste into dynamic. Um, in order to do the ribbons and we sliced up that image and we're going to use it here um, using some custom CSS and we'll also add uh, text shadows uh, to just to make them stand out a little bit more. Um, our content fonts are okay. Our easy um, widget content links are okay. Uh, for the easy home background we're gonna do a horizontal repeat um, left. We'll do our easy area BG and we'll grab the color from here. Um, so we'll zoom all the way down as we've done and get the color from the very bottom. And we'll paste that in there. Now we don't want to hop, um, the heading bottom borders and we'll leave the paddings alone. Um, we're not going to use the slider. We're going to create our own. Um, we're going to feature top easy widget areas. We're going to display them on the home page outside of the inner div. And we're just going to have one. Um, we'll bump up the font to 26. Um, we'll get the color from the Photoshop file. So we'll just copy and paste. Uh, for our purposes, we're only going to use um, the heading, um, but if you wanted to add some content you could. Um, you can make this color um, anything you want. So uh, the feature top wrap, uh, wrap background, we're going to do a horizontal repeat image uh, center. Um, featured PG, and the reason why we're doing it centered, and we'll grab the color from the Photoshop file, um, the reason why we're doing it center is um, our body, like all of the other images, like the um, the stripes and stuff and our, our 
the above the header is all centered. Um, so we do that to match it up. And so we paste that there. Uh, we don't want a bottom border <coughs> or a wrap border. Uh, we're going to make our top padding 20 and our bottom 0. Sorry, I'm a little under the weather. <clears throat> and now, if we do a refresh, um, we see that um, it's starting to take shape. Um, there's still some work to do here, um, but we'll do it with custom CSS um, that I've already done. Um, if you have any questions on how I got to using uh, the CSS that I did, uh, feel free to ask questions. Um, the first thing we're going to do um, is uh, our easy home inner. We're going to add this um, CSS in there. And so that makes everything um, the brown color, uh, and it's, but it spread everything out. So now we need to fix that. And we fix that by uh, adding some custom CSS to our uh, home hook wrap. So basically what I did here was uh, tell it how big um, I wanted it to be um, and don't go any bigger and then center it inside of the uh, Easy Home Inner Div. Okay, so um, our, actually, and I just noticed this, I didn't do it. Um, we'd like this text centered in the feature top the featured. So let's go back and do that. And all we have to do is add some CSS, CSS here. Text align center. Great. Now we save it. And now if we do a refresh, that's centered. All right. Back to our widget areas. Um, in order to get these ribbons, um, Place right, uh, and our every our widget area is basically looking okay. Uh, we need to do um, some. We need to position our uh, the headings um, abs with an absolute uh, position, and we'll do our widget areas um, with a fixed position. I mean, with a rel we'll do with a absolute position. I'm sorry. And so, with that little CSS, we got it looking um, much closer to where we want it to be. Um, you'll notice that the paddings um, or the margins are a little off here on the ribbons, and so that's easily fixed um, just by doing adding a margin on the uh, just the heading area for the first widget area. So now that looks okay, but then these are um, a little off. Um, so we just adjust the padding on those two widget areas. So that changed that. And now, looks like we're, uh, it's looking much more uh, like the Photoshop file. Um, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, in the next video, um, we'll finish styling our homepage by adding our slider to it and doing all the customizations that we need um, to make it look like the slider on the Photoshop file. Um, and then we'll uh, test out our theme and responsive and make any changes that we need um, doing that. So um, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave a comment on YouTube or on uh, uh, the tutorials.ozzyrodriguez.com in the article. Uh, thank you very much.